Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at some graphics animation secrets. All right, the essential graphics panel is where people usually do some things uh, and then they go to the effects controls to edit. But did you know that you can actually animate in the essential graphics panel itself without leaving it? And you can reset everything. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'll add a title to this. It shows up in the uh, effects controls and also in the essential graphics. And there's my, my title right there, my text. And in this section here, Align and Transform, these little guys are actual anim animation buttons. So right now, I'm at 100% scale. Let's move forward, click on this, and you'll see it'll stay blue. And we're at 100%. I'll move back to the beginning and just click and drag on the number itself to zero. And now when I play, it goes from zero to 100% scale. If you go partway between this or anywhere else and click on this again, it's going to alert us that it's going to delete the keyframes. If I click OK, it resets back to 100. Why is that special? Because, let me show you the other reset. If we go to the effects controls, there is the two keyframes that I set right there for scale from zero to 100%. If now I'm partway in the middle and I click on the stopwatch, same thing, but it's gonna leave it at whatever percentage that was where the playhead was. And that's not where it's going to be here. It's reset to 100% if it's set there correctly. Let me show you that again. I'll add a, another text layer, and this time I'll add some graphics at the same time. So an ellipse and a rectangle. I'll select all three, do the same thing. We'll move ahead. I'll click and add a keyframe for scale. Go back to the beginning, drag this down. Boom, there they go. Go back to the effects controls. Those are all the keyframes I added, but I didn't even have to leave the essential graphics panel. I'll go part way through, click back on there, and it's going to reset. Now, one important thing to note that if I don't have anything selected, I still have these transform controls. This is a contextual properties panel. It changes based on what you have selected. So I have shapes, I have shape settings. If I have, if I have text, then I have text properties. But if I have nothing selected, I still have control. So let's do the same thing. If I move ahead, add a keyframe, and then go back to the beginning and add a keyframe, you see they're scaling, but they're scaling from the center of the frame. That's where this setting, the anchor point is set. So if I hit play, they still animate, but what property is animating? If we go back to the, eff the effects controls, you'll see nothing in motion, but you'll see something in vector motion. So with nothing selected, the vector motion properties are changing. That's what you're seeing right here. And if you click on the vector motion, you'll see that's where our anchor point is right here, which is free to move now, so it's going to scale around that anchor point wherever that is. And we could have changed the anchor point back here with nothing selected, and our animation changes oops, accordingly. Move that anchor point, and it changes. And if we reset this, 
and reset this. There was no keyframe on that, so that one doesn't reset. We would have to go back over to here and reset with that control button there. But it's really essential to understand that you can do a lot of great little animations and not just two keyframes. I could keyframe this positioned there. I mean, just grab it on here if I want, but I could do all of that animating here without having to leave the Essential Graphics panel. And that reset really does make a difference. You can see that in that example, it resets the, to the beginning. Let's do all that with, I'll set a keyframe for transparency here, and then we'll go to 100% transparency there, and it fades out. So it's a little one, but I think this is very useful. I, I use this all the time if I'm animating, instead of having to jump back and forth to the effects controls. I only go to the effects controls when I have to get specific on something. And let me just show you that one last tip. If you are moving the, the let's uh, again, go, let's do a position on this. So I'll hit position for this. And here I'll make the text fly out. So the text flies down. One little tip I want to show you is if you're trying to find where this keyframe is and you're moving this around, if you hold the shift key while you move this, it jumps directly to that. You don't even have to open this up and scroll down and find it or click down here and choose only keyframed properties. You can keep all of this closed up, hold shift and jump to that. If you ever wanted to, to tweak the position of that final, whoops, that final animation without having to be that, without having to mm -mm -mm, shift and it's gonna lock to that. I use this all the time, do lots of animations in the effects, in the essential graphics without having to go to the effects controls. Hey, if you're new to video reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more? You can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. There's lots of free stuff for you to download and uh, support us in lots of different ways. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors that continues to, to continue to support us here at Video Reveal. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's to take these little things that I do and use all the time and let you know that there are little secrets that you might not know that make animating stuff in graphics in Premiere Pro a lot easier.